Ontario College of Teachers. Great teaching. I had just graduated from Teachers College. I had just got a full-time job at Resurrection in Kitchener. And I was living and training in Hamilton. So my morning would start about 5.30. I'd be training from 6 till 7.30 every morning, either running, weights, technique, depending on what the day it was. About 9 o'clock I'd get into Resurrection. I'd teach a full day. I'd coach wrestling at the end of the day. And then I'd be back on the road at 4.30 to drive back to uh, McMaster University to train for two and a half hours that night. Um, and then get home and get prepared to be a, uh, a teacher for the next day <laughs> while still trying to have some kind of a family relationship with my wife. When you go through it, you just go through it because you're in that mode and you just keep going through it and go through it and go through it. When you reflect back on it, then you really contemplate, how did I ever get through that? But I wouldn't have traded it for the world. The role of an administrator is so unique and so diverse, and I think you have to match it with the personality that's in front of you. There's a principal in every school, and everyone kind of does their job their own way. From my perspective, it's not a desk job. It's a job that you're rarely behind your desk, and when you're doing your paperwork, it's when all the people are gone visible and he's present and so in the halls the kids would know who he is he would get to know the kids and he'd know them by first name and he was always a greeter hello how you doing good morning everybody and the kids kind of came to expect that just that visible presence that makes you really realize this guy loves what he's doing he loves kids he loves being in a school system and he loves making it the best place he possibly can Chris knows how to push people in a, in a gentle way to get what he needs, but also what he sees in someone. He would call them to be better than they were a month ago or the day before. I've never worked for someone like that before. Every single student is so unique as to what their needs are, and you have to find what is going to work for them. No two students are alike and no two programs are alike. You need to be present, and not just visibly present, but present in every single conversation that you have. So when you're talking to someone, you're there, you're listening, you're communicating, and you're caring for what those people believe in. It made it easier for me to come to school with him being here. Instead of having just people stand, not standing in the hallways, not really caring for what I do, you know what I mean? Or seeing what I actually can do well and not do well, you know? He taught my behavior like, to react right. If I can't react right, then you're not gonna get what you want out of that person. Joseph would know that Chris was truly there for him, that we were a team, we worked together, and we're there to support him, and I think he understood that. But especially when you're, you get that from your principal, I think that just speaks volumes to that relationship piece that Chris did with staff and with students. I really believe we need more leaders like Chris because when staff see you, when students see you, doing what they're doing and fully understanding. It makes all the difference. Kids respect that because they know it's coming from somebody who's doing what needs to be done every day. His humble nature extends into all aspects of his leadership. He is the only principal that I've ever known who will start a conversation with you in the hall and give you a high five and pat on the back as you walk by. Early morning, late nights, and attendance at nearly all school events speaks to the incredible passion that Mr. Woodcroft has for our community. Mr. Woodcroft, please join me center stage as we celebrate in your leadership. Learn more at OCT.ca.